Hello everyone, this is Blazer Radar, and today I'm going to demonstrate the use of my new Lighting Elements HDRI pack, which consists of, as you can guess, uh, individual lighting elements which, which you'd find in a typical studio environment. So we have um, various soft boxes. So here we have three umbrella style uh, soft boxes, another three uh, square ones, three circle ones, a uh, indirect uh, light bouncing off a wall a room with a soft even lighting and fluorescent bulbs here so uh, one with uh, two bulbs another with one bulb and just um, just gradients as well so we have a circular gradient uh, in the two stripes uh, larger gradient and a thinner gradient so I'm going to show you how to use these to um, build your own studio environment so you can get uh, various different lighting um, situations. So here we have uh, one uh, different type, another lighting situation, studio lighting, and the more um, abstract style. So these were these three renders um, were, are just examples of what you can achieve with this with this HDRI pack using Cycles Render Engine. So let's get right in. This is the same file from my previous tutorial, except um, I've just deleted the uh, the generated world that we made and there's no lighting here so the plane is not here which um, casts light so if we just uh, go to rendered view here you can see there's no lighting so one thing I want to do first is um, I want to have uh, overall even lighting on this on this car so to do that I'm just going to go through the um, I press Shift A. Let me just enable this here. Shift A to um, add an environment texture. Okay, so here is the pack of um, HDR uh, images. Uh, there's two types, so HDR and JPEG. These are just for preview, but the actual images we're going to use in Blender are the HDR uh, file extension images. So for our overall even, li uh, even lighting, I'm going to choose uh, this soft room. So I'll just go ahead and open this and attach this to the background. And one more thing is I'm going to set up the vector orientation uh, co coordinates ve vector mapping system for this as well. So generated, connect this vector output. Here we go. So if I go to rendered view one more, once more. You can see we have um, even lighting here. I'm just going to enable this in the reflections and okay. So if we can view this now, you can see the world. You can see the world is affecting that. You can see how that image has loaded uh, into the background. And we can go into here as well. One thing I also want to do is just remove half of this backdrop here because it's not necessary. So if I just select this area, just half of it. And I'm just going to delete these vertices and extrude this out. So we have a an open end on the other side where reflections can flow in. So now, if we render this, yep. So we have even lighting. One thing I want to add also is it's it's too even as you can. I, I just I, I've said it many times. It's even lighting, but I want some sort of highlight on the back of the car here. And also, I want to illuminate the front of the car also and get some uh, reflections into this this area of the car. So one thing I'm going to do is go through the pack once more. So just going to duplicate these two. And this works as another image that we're going to add into it. So let's just go through this. Uh, so we have this circular gradient here, a soft box type of thing. And let, let's just use this soft wall here. So we'll just have a look at this. We'll load this in. I'll connect this to the background texture here. 
just so we can see what it is. So yeah, you can see how that's loaded into the background. It's to the right of the view. So you can see it lights up the right uh, or the left side of the car. You can see how that's working there. And we have some reflections here as well. Mind you, I haven't got a, a NVIDIA CUDA enabled rendering a GPU, so I have to use my CPU and it's really slow. So just be wary of that. Uh, to me, this is a bit too dark. So I'm going to increase the strength of the background here to around three. Okay, and one more thing I'm going to do is as you can see, it's half of it is being clipped by the floor. So using this vector mapping node here, so if we just put 90 here, you can see that brings it to the, to the top, I guess, no, to the bottom, to the other side. Wrong one. So here we go. 90, and this brings the, the texture that we've loaded in to the top, and it's casting light to the top of the car. I just wanted to cast light to the side, so I'm going to put this at a, a 50 or 60 degrees ang angle. And as you can see, we have light on the side of the car here. I'm going to enable this. This gives a better render result. Important sampling. And also, I want the highlights, the reflection highlights, to go across the car. So I want to. Uh, rotate this so that the highlights go across. So one thing I'll try is this. So this brings it to the other side. So we'll go negative 30. Let's see what that, that what that's done here. If this was at zero. So we can go, uh, go negative 30, 30. Go back to the view here. What has that done? Okay, negative 45. There we go. Now that reflection highlight comes across the car here. So that's that's exactly what I wanted. One thing you're probably wondering is though, what happened to this setup that we made here? Well, I'm going to add that back in using, as you can guess, the add operation. So I'm just going to add these two together and connect the overall output to the background. And you can see the, um, the lighting from the, the soft room is overpowering. So to fix that, I'm going to swap these two inputs. And if we just put zero here, you can see how this uh, system here, this this image texture has zero influence on the lighting. And by altering this uh, fact value here, we can control the amount of light that the soft room contributes. As you can see, that looks about right, where we have even lighting everywhere. And strong highlights here on the side of the car. Could we rotate this so that it's influencing mainly the, the back area of the car? I'm just positioning this so I can get a nice flow on the car here. There we go. Also, another thing I want to add is a, a circular soft box to just add light to the front of the car here. And to do that is just the same same thing. I'll select these two. Whoops. I'll just select these two here, uh, three. Shift D to copy and drag it down. Okay, I'm just going to connect this up here and just bring this down and, to, and I'm just going to select one of these circular or perhaps the umbrella style uh, softbox here 
So this just loads up. We'll see how that looks. Now, these these are numbered 2m, 10 emit. This means uh, the way I created these HDR images was I used a translucent plane or a shaped translucent plane and behind it I put a another emit plane uh, at a varying distance so 2m means 2 meters behind this plane so 2 blender units uh, this one means 3 meters and this one means 4 meters and as the, the emit plane moves further behind the translucent plane um, the, the lighting fall off is softer depending on where it is so I'm just going to use this one here, so HDR, so 4 meter, so I can get even smooth lighting. Now, we'll just preview this. We'll just see how that looks right now. And as you can see, it's inherited, since I copied this, it's got the same values here. I'm just going to move it so that it's in front of the car here. So I'm going to use a value of perhaps instead of negative 60, just 60. Can even do, yeah, that looks about right. Make this higher, so about 75. Use a value of 80. So that if we have a look at this. light is coming from above there yep and one thing I dislike though is this um, actually that will work well so if we make this 90 we'll just adjust this so that the highlight goes across the car let's see 85 across the car's window sorry And do 120. There we go. There we go. So if we just observe where this is now. It should be at the top. So if I'm looking at it from the bottom, you can see how the lighting is there. Just reset this. Okay, so 120 and 0. See how that's affecting it. We have a nice highlight on the window. Though it's a bit too much, I'm just going to move it back a bit. So perhaps 95. Or even 100. So yeah, the, the whole purpose of these individual lighting elements is so you can carefully adjust how you want um, your reflections and highlights and your lighting to look. So it's all up to personal taste. And this is how I like it. So. So I'm just going to connect this up again and increase this value to 1. We'll just see how this looks right now. So we have some strong highlights on the side of the car here. On the window, this window is illuminated and overall the car is also well illuminated. Uh, though it might be a, bit, a tad too bright. So we can bring down the overall value to about 2. 2.5. And we'll just lower the value of the soft room affecting the car so we have a bit more contrast in the image. Yeah. So yeah, one more trick that you can also do is to give colors to each light. So that's also done with um, uh, another one of these nodes here. So we'll just copy this. And I believe it's the um, multiply node. Yeah. Since these are 100% uh, white, so RGB white, we'll just feed this into the uh, background inputs. And notice as I change, so I'll just bring this all the way to 1. As I change the color, so let's make this pure red, you can see how it's the background, that light has changed to red, whereas here you can see it's still white being emitted from the headlamps. So we can adjust this to personal taste. We can have a yellow, 
soft yellow tinge from the upper light. And we'll bring this back into here. So this will just add, uh, most likely we'll just add, um, whoa, here we go. So yeah, it's, it's just up to personal taste. I don't really like how it is. I just like pure white lights. So you can just make a, a slightly yellow light here. And for this background light here, we can use a blue light or make it a tinge blue so that it complements the, the yellow light. And there you go. That is pretty much the entire process. Uh, you can uh, create your own custom studio setups like this using this uh, lighting pack, which I've uh, which I've made free to download. You can use it in any way you want, as long as you don't sell it. And yeah, <laughs> you can use it as in in as many ways as you want. You can add a infinite number of different lighting elements, just up to personal taste, how you like it. And yeah, so if we go to perspective view, you can see how they've layered together. We've got the yellow light here, the blue uh, wall light, and the overall um, soft room that we've added in. Another uh, thing you can do with this is if we go to a new layer, I'll just, um, yeah, I'm going to add a new camera. I'll get out of, get out of this mode. <coughs> So I'm out of perspective mode. And I've added a new camera here. So from top view, it's just pointing towards the y-axis. Um, we can rotate rotate this 90 degrees so it's pointing towards the um, the x forward axis. And switch this camera to panoramic, equirectangular, and give the resolution a um, a ratio of two to, two to one. So Put 2,000 by 1,000. Now, if we just set this to about 10 passes, 10 passes, and render this out, that didn't work. I I forgot to set this to the default camera. So, if we go to view cameras, set active object as camera with the camera uh, camera selected. This is now the camera. Now, if we render this. You can see how you can create your own HDRI lighting uh, studio setup, which you can reuse in a different rendering without creating all of this. So you can just save this as an image. So save this as an image. Select Radiance HDR here, and and save it as an image, and load it up as an environment texture. So no need to set up the entire thing again. Just use it as an individual image. And so pretty much that is the entire result of the tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. Um, have fun using uh, the lighting elements. I'd like to see um, uh, the results that you come up with. It's really fun once you get the hang of it. It's not too complicated. As you can see, this is, this is the, uh, the entire setup here. And it gives a good result. Very customizable, some nice soft uh, reflections, gradients, super easy to use. And yeah, that's about it. What more can I say? Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, once again, please give me feedback on how I'm doing so far because I'd like to improve on my uh, tutorial making skills. And uh, thanks for watching.